material that came together for this is just phenomenal. We have songs on here from Herb Peterson, Guy Clark, Chris Hillman, J.D. Souther, John Randall. Listen to that beautiful sound Never gone but coming back around Bluegrass to me is just the foundation of American music as far as I'm concerned. My influence started when I was, you know, first listening to the Everly Brothers when I was 10 years old and that brother harmony just got me. What fuels my love for bluegrass music? Man, just everything. I grew up on it. My dad was a, still is a, a picker, my mom's a picker, and this band gives me a chance to, uh, to go back and work on, on my bluegrass chops and play the music that I love. I grew up in East Tennessee. I, I, it's just part of me, bluegrass is. I, you know, everybody in my church sung like Ralph Stanley. It's just something that I always heard from the time I was a kid. And, uh, I can never leave it. I don't want to leave it. <laughs> Listen to that beautiful sound. It's great to play with people who know what they're doing, first of all. And of course, John, uh, he and I were in the Desert Rose Band together. And uh, so I, I go back quite a ways with him. You know, Herb and I have known each other for a really long time. Just to get to, to choose songs to play and sing with him when I'm thinking about material is just great. getting to play with two of my heroes. I told Herb this and he kind of looked at me like, I was, okay, I don't believe you, but to get to go out and play music with them, you know, is just the best. And then John Randall, I've always been a big fan of him. What excites me the most about this configuration is just getting to work with three musicians that I revere. Getting in the studio, you get to really peel back the layers and, and, and get in deep and figure out what all you can do within a group. It's, it's been great, you know, everybody is just bringing their best game to this recording project. Mm -hmm.